Can you guys all see this? Just kidding. <laughs> I've been a student for almost 15 years now, so I've seen my fair share of ugly presentation slides. But I promise I'm not here to condemn you all to death by PowerPoint tonight. Over the years, I've learned a lot. And I've learned something about learning that I think is critically important. The most powerful and enlightening moments I've had at school have come not during lectures, tests, or even labs, but from the times when I was required to do the teaching. There's a quote often attributed to Albert Einstein that really captures this idea for me. If you can't explain it simply, you don't really understand it. My experience with this kind of learning goes back to middle school, where project after project, rather than test after test, forced me to organize and synthesize what I had learned in a much more complete way. It paid dividends. The first time I really felt a passion for science was while designing a presentation on the life cycle of a star. In a few months, I'll be going to college to pursue an education in STEM. The kind of learning I experienced in middle school has a name. It's called the Feynman Method, and it goes something like this. Feynman's learning technique is effective for learning something new, deepening your understanding of what you already know, or helping you study for an exam. The first step is to pick a topic you want to understand and start studying it. Once you know what it is about, take a piece of paper and write about it, as if you're teaching the idea to someone else. Ideally, write and speak at the same time, just as a teacher does it at the blackboard. This makes you realize which parts you understand and where you still have gaps. Whenever you get stuck, go back to study and repeat that process until you have explained the whole topic from start to end. As a private tutor, I'm often surprised by the amount of unintentional learning I go through while trying to teach. Nothing else clarifies the jumble of concepts and ideas swimming around my head better than trying to explain them to someone else. Trying to teach you how a particular topic works forces me to understand it on a much deeper level than any other kind of assignment. This understanding of the benefits of fine learning has led me to an important question. If learning by teaching is so powerful, how can we get more students to teach? How can we give them access to its benefits? The obvious answer is to just assign more projects, but there's a reason why this doesn't work. We've all seen this slide. And uh, maybe we've seen this kind of prezi. But how about this? You see, they're all the same. Just like all the other ugly PowerPoints, messy slides, and dizzy prezies. Text and pictures on a blank background has been around forever, and it's just not good enough. We need something more. Luckily, modern technology has rendered the trifold obsolete. Videos, ebooks, interactive infographics, these are the future of content and the future of education. With this in mind, a few colleagues of mine and I have been working on a project, and I'm really excited to tell you about it. We've yet to decide on a name, though, so I'd like to ask you for some help in this department. In your programs, there's a hashtag you can use to make suggestions and comments uh, on Twitter, at MBHSSteam. Unfortunately, I can't offer you any royalties, but I'd really appreciate it if you shared any great ideas you have with me. Our project's mission is to provide a platform for students to create, share, and consume educational content. I know this sounds familiar, but what makes this project different is that it's going to be created almost entirely by students. You see, students have a valuable perspective on what's difficult in the classes they're actually taking. I think that everyone can teach, and with this project, we want to get more students teaching than ever before. Anyone's going to be able to contribute, but the way I envision most students starting out is in class. It will start when one of their teachers assigns a project as a way to wrap up a certain subject. 
Students will go home and work on some sort of explanation. Not just boring old PowerPoints and slideshows, but videos, ebooks, maybe even memes. <laughs> Once they're done, the students will turn it in and teachers will be able to grade it however they like. But they're also going to have to check for accuracy because it's very important that for this project we don't become purveyors of misinformation. We wouldn't want any videos explaining how exactly the sun orbits the earth, for example. If everything checks out, it'll be uploaded to what I call a local exchange, which is a website that collects all the projects done by students at a particular school. Everyone at the school will be able to look at these projects and learn from them. From this point, the website will collect usage statistics and ratings. This will allow us to identify the very best products from each school. These products will then be promoted to what's called a global exchange, where students and teachers and people all over the world will be able to look at it from the main website. Gone are the days when old products can simply sit rotting behind someone's dresser. Throughout this process, students will be learning a skill very often sought after in education, communication. We're always told students need to learn to be good communicators, and now more people than ever can try it. Our project is very exciting, but it needs content, and you have it. So I'd like to ask you for another favor. Teachers, think about assigning these projects in your classrooms. Parents, next time you want to help your student, ask them to explain something. Students, I know you know things. And even if you aren't ready to try and help someone else, you'll at least be doing yourself a favor by giving it a go anyway. The physics of bottle flipping. The art of sarcasm. Quantum electrodynamics. What will you teach me? I'm so excited about this project because I think it has the capability to multiply the impact any given student can have. A project uploaded to the Global Exchange has the potential to help students all over the world. We are dramatically increasing the impact of a good explanation. So when the inevitable question that students like to ask comes up, what is any of this good for? The answer is completely unambiguous. Your work can be the difference between confusion and clarity for someone else. All it's going to take is a little bit of effort. This is my dream. I hope you're excited too. Thank you.